Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to The Silent Age, episode 1. So, it is 1965. Of course. Yeah, uh, you're a painter. Yeah. Okay, sure. 1968. What's happening here? You joined the army. Oh, 1969. What about this one? Uh, huh. 1971. What's what's up with this one? You're a janitor. Cool. Huh? Very cool. You serve in the war and you become a janitor. Nice. That's that's the best thing ever. I can't imagine better than this, you know. One year after, what what happened? You died, <laughs> huh? The present. Oh, okay. So, what's up with the present? Oh, I see. I see. It's pretty modern. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Walk to note. There's a sticky note near the door. It says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you, Frank. Oh. Uh huh. It's a blue access card reader. This company keeps tight security. That's why I always keep my card in a place where nobody ever comes by. Um. What's up with this? Okay, so there's two elevators. Can I use this one? No. I need. Oh, okay. So, I guess this is his room? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, walk to light bulb, huh? Last one. Walk to broken light bulb. Oh, I see. So, this is a point and click game, so I have to this, I guess. There, yeah, that should work. Okay. That was easy enough. What's up with these? Walk to hazard hazard those barrels. Uh huh. These barrels were brought in here about a year ago. I don't mind. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space, and they hardly smell at all. Well, they could emit radiation. Did you think of that? No. Yes. This is uh. This one is kind of sticking out. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Blue access card. There, I got it. It's the access card for the boo. This and the boom. It's open now. We can go. Our corn. Our corn. Okay. Uh, modern art. The tool says in it must be French. What about this one? The start of Saturn revealed. Just looks like a couple of colored boxes to me. Well, maybe get maybe because it is. <laughs> uh, I. Uh. Mhm. Mm oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill is expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Cat scatters junk. Just get uh, your hand in there. Ah, oh, Jasper. It's... it's Joe, sir. Of course, Joseph. How long is that you have been in this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes. Then by now you must know what we do here is very important. National security might be just... Uh, maybe just a word to be most people, Jasper. But for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the be people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hardworking clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure, a lot, and some men just buckle, which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up and we are promoting you, Jasper. It's... I'm... Sir? I don't think the company notice, doesn't notice its hard-working employees. Reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you just made yourself a gold star. 
This means that from now on you will be charged not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs labs, the hesitation, trying the signals, assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's another responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I... Thank you, sir, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course, you understand that we not only be able to present you with a fancy title measurable prey race. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I better just be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your keycard. So... Okay. Use the red access card with... This. Okay. Um... Walks to a drop of blood. Oh, looks like Bob. Maybe someone cut the cells or lab animal got loose or something. Either way, it ought not be the one mopping up this time. Uh huh. Walk to tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hat. Nice one too. What is he doing there, though? Door button. That's how you do it, though. Ooh. What is this? Arch... Archon... Archon... Oh yeah, that's the name of the company. Blood Trail... Blood Trail... There's no case in us, please. Look serious, I got to show this to someone. Hmm... Nah, it was just... You know... Bl nose blood... Nose bleed... Spell. I'm not much of an engineer, but this seems to be something attached to two of the wires that clearly don't belong here. I could remove it put up and put the battle back in place if I had something to protect my hands. I have a rubber glove though. Remove the thing and push the battle back in place. So now I can go here, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Stinky, what's that? Lab code. I thought I could I could wear this, not gonna lie. Hansha shift with uh, Polaris 9 supercomputer. I better not miss with the controls. Those are some nice controls, not gonna lie. That looks like a yeah, this one looks like a like a like a synthesizer or what is launch pad. Blood trail. Ew. Management needs to know about this. I'll bet I need proof this time, though. Ever since that stupid Halloween prank, the science department pulled me on pulled on me the last year. I don't think they'll ever take me seriously again. <laughs> the handkerchief soaked up with some of the blood. I need to get this to management. Uh -huh. Out. Son of the doors where two people have to turn keys at the same time to open it. It's like something out of a secret agent movie. Only this one doesn't use keys. That sounds like... Oh, that sounds like a... Uh, sounds like Half-Life. Because there's this scene at the beginning where it's like two people talk before you can enter the room with the, you know, the facility Black Mesa thing that creates a weird beam that you put, have to put a crystal inside and then it messes up and creates a portal to another dimension. You know that part. Everyone knows that part. It's not a... It can be a spoiler. Um... Miss Glad? Mm-hmm. I... I... Something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has a basement all over the blood. <laughs> What the shit did I just say? What? The downstairs basement... What? Downstairs basement has blood all over the floor, that's... Uh, um, no, I mean... Good heavens, sugar! Her eggs got blood all over! Have you hurt yourself again? No, no it's... We keep telling you boys to follow the company's safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like a capable grown man in these boulder suits, but you really are just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... 
No one needs to explain. Let me just take care of you for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. A nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But, now run along, you little scamp. Yo, big brain. Damn. Okay. Brilliant. Very brilliant. I can't... What I can say. Oh, shit. Uh oh, stinky, injured man. Arr! Mister, are you right? You're bleeding. That's that's a lot of blood. Stay right here. I go get some help. No, don't, don't get anyone. Are you alone? I'm not sure what. I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yeah. Yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen. <coughs> I'm shot to bed. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I'm about to tell you now. Should... Should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention. You're standing on the brink of an extension level is set by in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on this planet. I know all this because I'm personally to blame, and though I realized our folly in time, less seen in more senior heads prevailed. I have a right from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this pro properly in an to an unsufficiently primed recipient intelligence. I am what you would pro probably re perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! I, I have planned this out in every last detail for the better part of my life. And I'd be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun toting overachieving parking attendant who hasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look flexible enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I want you to find me and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You will need this. What's this? It's a portable interdimensional planar membrane chrono sync instrument. Uh, it's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons that you'll quickly, quickly come to realize, the device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. This point is, I want you to keep it hide hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure I can help you in other di by calling the security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <coughs> now call, <coughs> call. <coughs> mister, mister, I no, no, no. His, I think he's dead. Oh God, I don't. Help, I need some help in here. Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me, there's a guy in there. There's a lot of blood and he needs help. I said, stay right there. But I work here. You know me. I keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The, pol the police are on their way. Um, it's hard to make up voices. Um... Uh... Oh, that's that's a smooth animation. Chapter two, the future. Ooh, uh oh. Listen, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want are some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated? Are you? Cause we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. I don't think so. So let's just keep this nice and informal. See, I'm a simple, easy going fellow. I try to be a fable and not to go too hard on people. That's what I f find works the best. My partner over here, 
different kind of guy, a real stickler for rules. And that right, Barker? See, I'm not too look, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I don't know. So sometimes I have to consult him. You know, in a complicated manner. He has a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, he's not much of a people person. So most people prefer dealing with me. So tell you what. I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we'll all be home before dawn. How does that sound? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that word spelled like dawn. I think. Now, mind telling me what this is? Huh? Take your time. Ooh, I press the button. Right? Uh <laughs> Whoops. Whoa. Where did the lights go? Hello? Was was I just knocked out? I feel Weird, like it was just folded flat and inflated again. Hello? Okay, that's... That's... Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Man, that's bright. It sure is. Sure is. Um... So... Man, man I'm dizzy. What, what is this? What happened here? How long was it out? The sign on the door says evidence room. It's locked. Walk to picture. J. Edgar Hoover. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Only come three steps. The first two are fine. The third seems to be someone in the basement. Okay. Oh god, what's this? I, I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened, and now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Hmm. No, not there. Um, we'll go here. It's locked. What's that? Oh, a hammer. They have messed now the door in a hurry. Yeah, so... Can I use the hammer? <laughs> they wouldn't be so stupid to leave a leave a hammer with a claw, like use a hammer with a claw to uh, you know nail the nails and then leave it on the floor as well. So that would be really stupid. Um. So let's go to the second floor. That's second floor. Yeah. What's in here? Okay, okay, I just, this might be totally far out, but what if that tramel guy was right? What if I just broke my power, oh, to me out here in the future. That's, it's, the text is so fast, I mean, you're not there anyway, that's what that shit, that hurts too much. Yeah, so, the the text is so fast, they have to hurry so, so much, well, really. Far out. See if you didn't behind this. Far out, man. Uh -huh. The handle is broken off. Mm -hmm. This thing. <laughs> There's a key attached to his belt. I should grab it and hope it gets me out of here somehow. Small key. Mm -hmm. So does it work here? It doesn't fit. What about the... The... Thing. Door. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. So, what's in here? Walk to corpse. Oh, God, I must be losing it. The, this police ID is that officer from the interrogation, Burkowski. This is seriously creeping me out, man. Hmm? Oh, okay. Uh, 
gehört. Weapon Euro. Hmm. Why would I need this? Or imagine if this this game had guns. No, you could use them to kill zombies or shit. Because I'm pretty sure it's like some kind of apocalyptic zombie game. My country is riddled with pins, circles, and all that. Looks like looks like they were written in a hurry. Uh huh. Lockers. Can I break the lockers? No. No. Train line four five six. Sure, the fire must be. Maybe the door or something. <coughs> oh, come on! I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. Maybe out of shape, but this is stupid. You can pick it. Pick it. Hmm. So stuck with rust. I'm only bending the clip. I need some. I need to lube it up. Weapon oil. Maybe now. Nope, no cigar. Now my hand hurts, and the only thing I've damaged is my self-confidence. I'm <laughs> so, wow. so weak and stupid. A katana. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these, but somehow I don't feel as excited about them now. Hiya! Hiya! The rope's been cut now. Such a, such a ninja, such a samurai. What's in here? There is a dusty roaster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were here were homesick that day. Window. What? What? Well, I should be a little more careful. I almost cut myself there. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, hmm. Tree branch. Whoa, that's our. That's I'm actually reading so fast right now. Walk to rope. This should come in handy. Oh, okay. Anything else you have to give me? It was bad enough when he was hanging from the ceiling. This! Huh? Ah, I think that's the most important knot I find in my life. Ooh. Don't budge. So. Jeez, that thing almost scared me to death. This device is lit up now. The light must be recharging, so I guess it's working again. So. Maybe you can use this. Whoa, wait. Bruh. Bruh. This looks amazing. Bruh. This is amazing. I have to find some other way. Damn. You know, it's the motorcycle. Motorcycle bag. There's a screwdriver in here. Hmm. <laughs> Poison it, poison ivy. This is poison ivy. I don't think anyone actually planted this, but it got here anyway. Yikes! You screwdriver with back door. I think the door is blocked. We gotta find some other way around. Hmm. Hmm. What? How? How did that work? What? So here's an umbrella. So the battle board otherwise in fine shape, of course. Uh can I go here? I know I haven't had many great ones lately, but this is a really stupid idea. They've probably already looking for me. Yeah I'm with you on this one. There seems to be a lot of activity in there and I hear faint shouting. I have a bad, bad feeling I have something to do with it. Walk to windows. Uh, that's the. That's the same thing. Uh huh. What about the police car? The door is locked. Still a police car? Are you nuts? Can I break the window with the? No, but I won't save it from a rusty death. Can I fly out my way out of here? Uh huh. Uh, can I do this? The door is already open. What would you do with the umbrella if it wasn't? <laughs> My god. Uh huh. So. I should probably. 
Yes. Yes. I got it. So that was uh that wasn't that wasn't uh too nonsensical, but okay. It's locked. Hey, maybe I could pick the door with the bobby pin and the toothpick. No, wait, I can't. Wait, what? Hey, maybe I could pick the door with the bobby pin and the toothpick. No, wait, I can't, because I'm a regular guy with another fictive 1950s uh, gumshoe. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. That's the best definition of a door. Uh huh. It's nobody's home. That's the best definition of a door if you're, uh, I don't know, a burglar or something. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. The detergent, detergent smells so homely, I'm not sure if I'm imagining this whole thing. It screws with my head and that's and more than anything. Walk to great looking... And whoever lives here has great taste in treads. Yeah, but they're getting even worse now because it's raining. Walk to carpet. Nice. Take rug. What? Torn wallpaper. I got some laser innovation. What? What? So this is like a two-room apartment. Man. Wow. Okay. I think this caused some paradox or something. There was a lamp in there. What is it? curtains? What? Okay... I can s still see the door, kind of. Um... Wallpaper. This might be a strange comment at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway. I'm to totally digging that wallpaper. Hmm... Wallpaper based. Whoever has decorating the wall that sure left in her recently, the space is still sticky. What can I do with it though? Wallpaper. I'm too busy to finish the job. Okay. That's a that's a lot of nice newspapers. Walk to lamp. There's something in there. Oh! Oh my god. Uh, can I open this? Uh, what if I uh, that again? Keyhole is blocked. At the right place at the wrong time. It fits. That's what she said. Can I uh can I see why I should use space on the door? So maybe downstairs? Dawn is seeping into into the soil. Nice work. Damn! Look at that. And the grass grew as well. Oh, it's open, but what's that? I found a nice stick, and then just drew up a little. I didn't expect to find another corpse in there. That's a corpse. Ugh. That's that's actually a corpse. Yo. I can't. No, I can't. It's too difficult. Man, the handles are broken off. How does this stuff? How does stuff like this keep happening? Maybe because it's rusty. Door to apartment one G. Okay, that worked. Nice. Um, why is this tree here? What? Huh? Yo, bruh. Walk to 
to TV. So, oh, it's on. This looks like like a special news bulletin. Overman denies any serious threat and ensures that the federal incidents we've been reporting all morning were complete, natural, and unrelated. Next one is currently abroad. The four Air Force One headed for an important but undisclosed maze thing. However, the special. What the fuck is happening? What? What? Yeah, that was a spider on my face. Anyway, um. Where were we? So. What does this say? Something about a flu pandemic, rising gas prices, and the latest news from the war. Is that the Spanish flu? Nightstick. Why is it called Nightstick? It's a bad. I hope nobody heard that. This is not the movies. That glass is sharp and I don't come with an emergency emergency tank of blood. Huh? Use carpet with broken mean this carpet should do the trick. So what did that do? Chapter four, the entry. Ooh wait a second. Okay, what is that? Butcher shop. Oh god, thank god. Oh, my god. Well, property pressure is down through the roof, but who in their mind would open a butcher shop right next to a hospital? Uh, I think I know why. Wait, there's a broom head down here. Take it. Uh, for a second there, I got all excited by the thought of renewing my old room without filling out acquisition forms. I really need to find a different line of work. That was a notification. I thought I closed all my notifications. What happened to the sound there? Okay, I'm back. Um, my stupid notifications stopped the sound in the game so let's nice. see hey it opened the door things are finally working up for me cool um i have a feeling walk the butcher shop window can i go in here crook hook sorry it's a somewhat scary looking meat hook what happens if i do this Biohazard. Um, what happens in the future? Broken plate. Something around underneath the dirt. There's something underneath, but a toy covered with dust and not. Yeah, it's, it's this. There's a manhole here. Okay. So that wasn't there before. There's no way to get my hands around the cover, but there are holes in it, not big enough for fingers. Is that uh, heavy? I was strong enough to lift this up, but not strong enough to break the freaking break a freaking padlock with the hammer to bar. It's a loose run from the ladder. I'm taking it with me. If anything survived this world, it will be hungry by now, and I need something to defend myself. Um, oh, so it's open. Okay, sure. Um. Whoa. What if they catch me? <laughs> Walk to bottle of turpentine. It's a bottle of turpentine, coarse and and flammable. This should come in handy. I probably shouldn't run off with the whole bottle, though. The painter will notice his gun and alert the officer. Can of paint. It's a can of paint, of course. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sh I'm not supposed to, like, <laughs> can I do this? Uh, 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 it's a police officer, I can make out a few words every time he raises his voice, he's clearly looking for someone, painter. From his clothes, I'm guessing he's a painter. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Get 
got it! It's a bone saw. Apart from the goo, it doesn't look like it's been used. <sighs> Maybe I could c cut this. Huh? See the... Probably could, but who knows what's down there. If I jump in, I could end up being carried up by the sea by the third janitor and be aided by a toilet alligator. I saw a PBS special on those. How about now? The Supreme Officer, do I have to come up with the world's best explanation or so? Let me finish your skills. I'm not counting on. There's a lighter wedge between his ribs. He won't be needing it anymore. I think that's the painter. He didn't even finish it. I don't think how surreal this all feels. Um, yeah, I mean, like, props to them, because I, you know, I even turned out my brightness uh, level and to the maximum, and you could not see this one. Look, would you look at that? I googled the tutorial, and the PC version, you can, like, you can move your mouse around and you eventually you know becomes a circle from turns from a from an X to a circle and you can see the light switch but no not on mobile of course um anyway that uh, really took a long while give it a few weeks and I'll probably be slim enough to slip through the toes there's got to be a better way though uh, I bet I could cut through a car with this saw. Uh. Uh. So what's up in here? Syringe. Ugh. Okay. So what could I do with the syringe? Have an idea. Da -dum, dum da dum dum. Nothing suspicious going on there. Here, the syringe is full of turpentine now. turpentine. Man, the stuff. The stuff smells heavy, doesn't it? So now we're supposed to use the lighter, right? Whoa! Whoa! My sleeve almost got fired. That thing's almost completely off the hook. I should use way less turpentine next time I start a sewer fire. So, that doesn't stay in the past, because that wouldn't make any sense. They went away, rice. So now I can go inside, it's open. New chapter, right? Chapter 5, the corpse, yeah, that's a new chapter, I guessed. What's this? What's this? I have to check everything now. Is like checking tutorials on YouTube really I have to restart the game because the sound stops working. Walk to office door, it's locked. Uh let's go here. This one's locked. And I do this. Wait. Wait. What if Oh shit. Okay, for a second I thought, you know, it's locked, um, what about this one? It's open, cool. What if I... Okay, that makes sense. So apparently, it seems here that really no one else for like, I don't know how, my, how many, um, 40 years, 50, 60 years, no one really came here, came back here, to close this door, <sighs> like, I really, one movement stays the same, even in the future, nothing really changes, doors are stuck, but I can't imagine what I need in there anyway, mm-hmm, Trachea chart. Sometimes I wonder if that that's how doctors actually see people. Walk to long chart. Looks like an upside down tree of some kind. Final cabinet. 
Bingo! These are patient files, and of course, the cabinet's locked. Yo! Why did I go down here? There, I was supposed to... Hold up! Uh, name tag. Regnal Lambert, no address. They probably don't put stuff like that on these tags, I guess. And he's dead. And uh, scopes of fire. Uh, kind of ghost had survived. Uh, there's only way to get answers now. I guess need to find out where he lives. Well lived. And he dies in the future. I might a pile of bones and strips of clothing. That's kind of yucky. Glass cabinet. These shelves are full of jars and weird things in them. There's the there's a cabinet. There's a scissors. Ooh. Ow. These are remarkably sharp. Mm -hmm. Outside office. Cables. Let's cut the cables. So the cables are already cut. My God. Another corpse. What's in? Um. How did he not? Why, well, doctor, keep a spare key in these desks, but I'm not complaining. Ambulance key, uh -huh. X-ray board. It looks the size of the uh, office. Yeah, but I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Most of it looks like really bad balloon. Can I go here? Oh, just upstairs. Um. Okay, so both oh, both doors are. Apparently not. Nope. Oh, it's a car key. Maybe I can get out of here or something? Garage. Oh no, there's a... There's a car in here. Yikes. Ambulance. guess I can sit there making engine noises with my mouth while making... Imagine I'm going somewhere really fast. Oh my god. Button. What does this do? There's no power. Uh -huh. The garage door is open now. We can, uh, you know, put this, uh, okay, do this. Mm. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, would you look at that? The, you actually have to put the battery here because wow okay that makes total sense and you can also swipe you can swipe to uh, find stuff just like on PC nice that's a uh, human remains it's so freaking wait a minute he's alive next oh one minute he's alive next he's a corpse yeah, time traveling is very interesting, isn't it? Hmm. So there is a key. Perfect fit, it's open now. These are patient fails, but uh huh. Nice. Nice. Use address with yeah, that's uh one insula groove lake. Checked on. Okay, good to know. I'm going there as soon as possible. So let's go here and then let's go here and boom. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so this has been it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it for here out on the road. Everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget 
all about that dead world back there. Mm-hmm. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not go there along with everybody else? <sighs> I just saw his body in, in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to walk to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? What if he's not there? What if I change something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Maybe these will be my last days along with everybody else's. Ah, I thought ties with my stomach is worse. Now I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? And I'm running low gas now. Gotta help, I brought enough gas. To be continued.